Hello fellas, we're back again and this time it's another wall clock. This is a eight day Hermel. This is new as well. Sam bought this one a few months ago and uh, it's a bit uh, unique. It's a Westminster but it's unique in that it's an eight day and most wall clocks are not. Most wall clocks I've seen, apart from the older ones, are usually 31s, and I thought this would be a 31, but it's not. Franz Hermel, don't know the movement version, but uh, the mo it sounds very much like a 340020 when it strikes, but it's not. The hammers for it are under there, you can just about see them, right there. Very small rods too, they run under the movement, which you can't really, oh yeah, you can just about see them there. Here's the rods. And when that one's finished, I'll take it to the top of the hour, we'll do the full hour strike sequence, then the quarters, and I'll put her back to the right time, because I'm good. So let's let you hear this, this is a typical Hermel. Most Hermels are very similar, and I want one of these too. I don't have one of these, not that it sounds like this anyway. Isn't that beautiful? Quarter past. It's a very sharp sound that one, I like it. Half past. Quarter two. It's a metal stick pendulum, but it's not, if I stop it for a second, you can see the detail on the pendulum. It's not a solid stick, it's actually three, one, two, three, four. Actually, no, it's kind of solid, but it, it's, it's not sort of your average. A lot of clocks have a sort of a wood stick pendulum. This one's quite nice. self-beating mechanism so when you if the clock's you know is setting up you don't have to self-beat it you can just put the thing on the wall nudge it and it'll just go which is nice a lot of modern clocks are doing that now you can still buy clocks like this and this is not antique by any means but i thought i'd introduce it to the to my thing because it's a chimer and it's mechanical it doesn't have to be antique if it's a mechanical chimer i want videos of them I just love them. I have a nice collection myself and I just love the way they sound. They're very nice. Um, nice things to have. Not really a lot I can tell you about it apart from that. It came from F. Hines in Hereford. Same as the Cuckoo Clock. I forgot to mention that came from the same place too. Now they haven't got any more of these in since. Because I'm on the lookout for one and they've not seen one. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'll leave it there. I think the next one we'll talk about is the ship's bell. Or ship's bell hour strike gong. I don't really know what you'd call it because it's, it's a bit of an interesting one as you'll see when we get to the video.